Bonjour, je m'appelle Corey Taylor avec Stone Sour. Hey, this is Matt from Tribune. Max Cavalera. This is Frost from Satyricon. I'm Satir. Hello, everyone. Let me and uh, Mickey D here. Motorhead. Hey, hey, what's up? This is Freddy from Madball. On est Gojira. This is Daz from Devil Driver. Danko Jones. Salut, c'est Dago Bob. This is Danny from Cradle of Filth. Yo, it's Avenged Sevenfold. Hey, we are Arch Enemy. Apocalyptica Finland. Hello, this is Roger from Agnostic Front. Hey, what's up? This is Brock from 36 Crazy Fist. Nothing remains! L'idée de ce festival-là est, est née d'une volonté commune de continuer l'aventure euh, humaine dans un premier temps. Parce que le gros défi, c'était ça, c'était d'essayer de continuer à vivre de notre passion euh, en offrant aux gens un côté professionnel indéniable, tout en restant euh, dans un esprit rock and roll, parce qu'on ne veut pas non plus lâcher euh, l'esprit qui, qui, qui a fait naître l'idée du du Fury Fest et donc maintenant du Hellfest. On est passé par des moments assez difficiles où on n'y croyait pas trop. Parce qu'un projet comme ça, c'est jamais facile à faire accepter. Il faut, faut, faut... y a beaucoup, beaucoup de préjugés, beaucoup, beaucoup de craintes liées à la méconnaissance des gens par rapport à cette musique-là. Je pense qu'effectivement, il faut, il, faut, il faut que tout le monde dans ce, dans ce, dans ce petit milieu qui est, le, qui, est, qui, est, qui, est le méta... qui est les musiques extrêmes se serre un peu les coudes et on essaye tous un petit peu de, de participer. Il n'y a qu'un seul événement de cette ampleur en France. Il faut faire participer un maximum de gens, les groupes, les labels, euh, les, les, les distros donc il paraît logique de ne pas proposer au public qu'un amassé de groupes ultra connus euh, uniquement pour vendre des places et on a envie réellement de faire un événement communautaire entre guillemets et non pas uniquement commercial dans l'état on a envie qu'il y ait un état d'esprit et donc ça passe par euh, mettre des groupes français alors après il y a des groupes français à différents euh, euh, Niveau de notoriété, Gojira marche beaucoup et il le mérite beaucoup. Bands like Gojira, unbelievable band. Gojira. Yeah, I would like to have Gojira. <laughs> It's just for underground credibility. Yeah, and they're good. Bonjour, on s'appelle Gojira, on est un groupe de musique. On fait, on va dire, du métal. 
pour, pour être, euh, essayer d'être le plus précis possible. Parce que, en fait, on aime bien dire qu'on fait de la musique, tout simplement, parce que c'est vraiment... Il euh, n'y a rien de calculé dans ce qu'on fait. C'est euh, les tripes qui parlent. Et euh, depuis le début, ça, ça a toujours été ça. Depuis toujours, on avait entre guillemets envie de ressembler à Metallica. Donc on avait déjà en tête de, de couvrir le reste du monde. De toute façon, on s'est dit, si un, un Français aime notre musique, avec euh, tout ce que ça comporte, pourquoi un Allemand ne l'aimerait pas Pourquoi un Anglais ne l'aimerait pas Un Américain, un Japonais ben, C'est vrai que l'album, là, depuis, euh, depuis très peu de temps, est distribué en Europe. Euh, il va sortir le 22 août aux états unis et... Euh, c'est vrai qu'il y, y a quand même buzz qui se passe autour du, du groupe. Tous les groupes qui sont à l'affiche, moi je les apprécie quasiment. J'aimerais voir Obituary, Apocalyptica. Last year actually was the first year that we get to play like to really big French audience when we were supporting Rammstein. So it's and it was people really liked our show and it was of course exciting for us us as well. So we like French people a lot. French audience is finding Apocalyptica now and, and, and French audience is really great because it's very powerful. People are very intelligent and they they really, you know, they have a very wide view, musical view. And, but still they really, emotionally, they react very powerfully in a concert, so we are very happy that nowadays we are able to play good shows in France. And today I want to see Soulfly, because last time we saw Soulfly, we played the same festival in Slovenia one year ago, or one or two years ago. One year ago. One year ago. Um, but we had a horrible schedule, so they played just after us, and we had to leave, like, you know, we had the possibility to see four songs, and it was yeah. really promising. You motherfuckers ready to play?
Yeah, his family, you know, so it's like something that not a lot of bands experience. Have your son sing with you. It's like really, it's, it's strange. It's hard to explain, but it's, it's really great. And he goes crazy, you know, really. Like he already uh, in, in last month, uh, he got stitches uh, on his like forehead and he already got stitches on his knee from jumping on, on stage. And uh, that's great, you know. All the, all the dads are proud of their son, you know, when they uh, graduate, you know. I'm proud of uh, him getting stitches, you know. <laughs> no, it's cool. I love him. You know? I think he's uh, real, real, like, uh, brings a lot of youth to Soulfly, you know, brings a lot of new blood, new energy, and it's amazing. Metal is the perfect music for me because... I'm all those things, you know, like I love family and, um, you know, I love spiritual stuff, but I love, I don't love violence, but I love chaos, you know, I love riot situations and out of control and loud. Everybody jump the fuck up. Limits is stupid, you know, people should not put limits on themselves. Started with, with, with nothing in Brazil. Um, it's just really tricky, because you know, in your head, you build up what people tell you can be done, cannot be done. Then you realize that's all bullshit. You can do it if you put your mind into it, you know. And, and, and Sepultura is living proof of that. What we we took from this little band from Brazil and went all the way to the rest of the world. So I don't, I have no limits, you know. I just my only concern is make sure it's good and done with the heart. <laughs> I also have just different wild goals. I've been listening to a lot of like music from um, like Northern Africa, you know, and like Mali and things like that, you know. There's kind of really cool stuff I might introduce to, to metal again. You know, I've been kind of quiet on the, f on the front of, you know, more of a, you know, um, exploratory expedition person that I was with Roots. I think I've been not so aggressive with that. I should bring that back next year. So we can expect something like that. Some crazy sounds of you know, metal combining with North Africa shit. It can be insane, I don't even know. My mind just goes off when I think about that. <laughs> Je suis David Monsilla, le directeur de Overcome Records et de Overcome Distribution. Alors Overcome Records est un label spécialisé dans les musiques extrêmes, le rock'n'roll, le punk, le hardcore, le metal extrême avec des groupes comme Nostromo, Blockheads, The Electrocution, Tokyo Sex Destruction. Ça c'est le label Overcome Records et on a aussi Overcome Distribution qui est une, un département qui se charge de la distribution de disques de musique extrême, indé, hardcore, metal en France aussi bien vers les professionnels dans les magasins et aussi via la VPC, la vente par correspondance et sur internet. J'essaie de représenter tout, notre travail est avant tout d'essayer de contenter un maximum de gens et de faire découvrir un maximum de choses aux plus jeunes comme aux moins jeunes Et, et, et le but est véritablement d'essayer de, de faire comprendre à toute cette population qui écoute ces musiques-là qu'il y a autre chose. L'image du festival, c'est essayer de représenter le maximum de choses. J'ai des racines un peu plus punk que hardcore, que, que metal. Hein. Euh, effectivement, j'ai certainement plus de mal à écouter du black metal que, que d'écouter les Ramones. Hein.
I think our fans are pretty used to our sense of humour anyway. I did this German festival, I did this interview with this German, and they go, what do you think about Lordy winning the Grand Prix? And I went, what? The Grand Prix? What, they had a race car? And he goes, I do not know what to say. Uh, Grand Prix, yes, music Grand Prix. So anyway, about a week later, I, I, you know, I heard that they'd won Eurovision. I was like, I've seen the footage, and I've watched this English commentator and he, say, he says, they have the worst case of Fred veins I've ever seen in my life. And after they finish, there's a little big explosion and everything. And he goes, well, that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> just like, it just took it totally in his stride. And I'm pleased that England gave them like maximum points because normally it's always like these sort of ultra fake tanned women, you know, and dance routines. And <laughs> the next generation of bands. Well, well, Satyricon would be one, I think. We have proven that uh, you can still, you can play black metal and still be immensely successful in commercial terms by um, staying true and firm as far as, you know, what your guidelines and ideals that you go by um, in creating and, and performing your music. And I think we've taught people how to like black metal. I would like to tour with Satyricon. I think that would be left, uh, yeah, left on my list for sure. I love that band. I want to make sure that we sound different. If I can make sure that we sound different, then I've done my job. And as far as everybody getting heavier or lighter, music is always coming in cycles. Getting heavier and lighter, you know? Like I said, in, in the United States, everybody's doing this radio-friendly, sing-songy metal. I don't know. I mean, we've literally always been doing solos. We've been doing solos since, like, 1999, you know, when we started. We've been playing technical stuff, and I think it's just, it takes this long to be discovered. I think a lot of bands, what sucks, a lot of bands are doing it because it's trendy, because they think it's cool. They think, hey, it's, it's cool that I can play a solo. People are going to be impressed. But it's something we've always been into because our favorite bands do it. best one we've toured with is Metallica because Metallica got us into metal. It's the reason why I play guitar, the reason why I sing, the reason why everything. So I mean, and it wasn't just we toured with them, um, became good friends with them. Uh, they had us come up and sing with them a couple nights, um, keep in contact with them still. And they really, really like what we're doing. They generally enjoy our music. So I mean, that's, that's like the best thing anyone could ever ask for, having your hero approve and like of what you're doing. Every time I'm left alone. Very nice. 
la tête, euh, William. Tu es ou pas Non, ça va. Much more comfortable now in my own skin because uh, in November I'll be three years sober and uh, in the pe like when I first got sober I was I was kind of a mess I was kind of a wreck I, I really I didn't know who I was um, I was still trying to figure out who I was and what I wanted to do and all these you know just all these little things that a lot of people who don't have a drinking problem already know you know so I had to figure out you know, was what am I about? What am I saying? What am I, you know, why do I do the things that I do? And now, now that I, I kind of, I've kind of got, you know, a little stronger and I've, I've gotten a little wiser, now I just don't care. You know, I'm just like, look, I'm going to come to a, an MTV interview with, you know, my beautiful slippers and I don't care what anybody thinks, you know? I mean, you either enjoy my music or you don't. This shell doesn't mean anything. Come on. Slipknot is very, you know, it's a, a one side of that of that personality that I have, you know, and it's it actually doing this allows me to get into that even more because I know I have both, and I can express anything I want, you know. I'm the luckiest guy on the planet right now. I have two great bands that I love to work with. Um, one's a little more chaotic. One's a little more human. And I, I get to show it all. I get to make the, all the music that I want. Put your fucking hands in the fucking air, help us! I'm having the time of my life right now. Started in 1999, uh, put out a record when we were in high school. It's all about discipline, you know, if, if you want to live a healthy life, all you have to do is wake up in the morning and go running or work out, and then you can go party all night if you want. I don't really try to keep in shape anymore. <laughs> it's just too much touring, you just... No, I think the voice gets used to it, the body as well. You just you you try to get back in shape when you're home. Actually, that's how it is nowadays. <laughs>
with this tour, it's like been pretty amazing. We're like doing like 100,000 people with Metallica and like Guns N' Roses opening up for these types of bands. And then we, you know, play these smaller clubs too and everything in between. So it's been a really cool kind of tour for us to get our feet, you know, um, back on, back into it again, you know. It's, it's been pretty amazing as far as, um, I think it's 22 countries between June 18th and, was it, no, May 18th and uh, July 5th. It's going to be 22 countries and off to Japan. So we're pretty busy monkeys right now. <laughs> consistent across the board I mean in every country man and it's been really really cool so I guess the, those songs stuck around you know they just, and it's nice to play them again and those are obviously people that really like them and that's why we came to do that I mean we, we're not making money doing this right now <laughs> you know we just came here to play because it's been a long time we wanted to do this for people that like those songs like we do and and it's sorry it took us so long to get back here and you all know the story, so. And here we are in wine country of France. Sweating. Sweating like pigs. La tournée avec Inflame, c'est Sepultura qu'on vient de faire dans un peu plus de 15 pays en Europe. Nous a apporté beaucoup d'expérience en tant que groupe et. Parce a, et en plus, on a pu découvrir pas mal de public, ce qui, ce qui tombait à pic, puisque la sortie de notre album, What is the Board, est, est une sortie mondiale. Donc euh, on ne pouvait pas rêver mieux pour, pour le promouvoir euh, qu'une sortie aussi, rapide, aussi rapidement bouclée euh, dans tant de pays et, et sur une, une si grosse durée, en fait. Le public français euh, est avec nous de plus en plus enthousiaste, de plus en plus réactif. Euh, on arrive à voir que sur les, les 4-5 premiers rangs et même plus euh, euh, moi de la batterie j'arrive à voir que le, le public connaît les, les paroles euh, sur le bout des doigts. On vient de sortir notre nouvel album What Hell Is About euh, en février 2006. On est tout le temps sur, euh, sur la route et tout le temps à, en fait, à faire des concerts donc euh, c'est un... Enfin, le, le public nous a vachement surpris parce qu'il nous a donné une belle réponse et euh, Et on a vu un, un superbe engouement du public, quoi. Donc on est vraiment super content. We are Motorhead. We play rock and roll. We have when when you do a lot of festivals, you get a set list that works. Then you try to stay to that. Then you change small bits and pieces. Because the the ultimate reaction you get from the crowd is after the show if you've done good or bad. I mean, we done we done festival sets where. Well, I wish you played more new ones and more old ones. Or, you know, you get comments. But we have a really good balance right now. I'm gonna have to play Ace of Spades till I drop dead doing it, you know, like that's it. An overkill too, you know. Like. As long as the three of us think that this is as fun as it always is, we probably not necessarily gonna drop on stage, but if it ain't fun, we ain't gonna do it. Yeah. But as long as it is fun, 
We'll do it. And then, I guess, he's going to have to be killed by death as we right, finish his band. Killed yeah. by random death. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what I hate. I hate it when some asshole in a magazine says, why don't you step aside and make room for some new bands? And you know why we don't? Because the new bands ain't no fucking better. That's why, you know. We're good enough to stay around, right? Well, I mean, actually, I never fucking even heard that. I've heard it a couple oh. of times. You know, why don't you old guys step aside and let some new yeah. bands? And, you know, screw them, you know. Yeah. Again, you know, we're like a nightmare. We never go away. Yeah, we're like a tropical disease. We never go away, right? Come back and come back, and we'll haunt you in your dreams. So like, like malaria, you know. We'll haunt your mothers, we we'll haunt your we kids. We already haunted their mothers. Yeah. Now you do what it does, you. Now you do As we speak, I gotta show you this. This is a girl from Switzerland. She's got her whole back tattooed with her faces. Just, uh, yep, I'll show you in a minute. See that? Look at this. Phil is underneath. You see that? Can you zoom in? That's Lem on top, me.